The Legacy of Wisdom Project gathers and publishes answers to many of humanity's most pressing questions from some of our most experienced and profound leaders. Given that one of the big issues in aging is loneliness, how do you feel about the use of things like social virtual networks to provide contact and the use of technology in general in this area? I'm having trouble with it, but it's not bad. <coughs> I get so many invitations to join uh, LinkedIn, this, that, and um, I refuse because I don't have the time for all these things. And uh, if I were to ask with how many people in this world have I had uh, uh, contact, and all these people would know. For instance, when I'm on, on Skype, I, I make it so I'm not available. And if I have to talk to someone on Skype, they call me on the phone first, and then I open the portal. Because otherwise, <clears throat> I would be besieged. On the other hand, uh, there are, for many other people, who don't have so much on their plate at this point, to be able to be with children, grandchildren, with friends, and so on and so forth, and just talk, to, because the isolation is very, very great. Sometimes you can't, you, you can't drive anymore, uh, your license isn't available to you, you've had a couple of accidents, and so on and so forth. So how are you going to communicate? That's a wonderful way in which we can now have iChat or these, these, these ways. I have a couple of DVDs that I made for shut-ins. Imagine a person has yard sight and would like to do an evening prayer, uh, but they can't go to shul. So the DVD takes them into a place where they're davening mariv and they're being invited to daven along. That's using this technology that we have now and make it possible for people to feel included. We overcome distance that way. <clears throat> 